Folders are a great way to manage your templates and checklists. Not only are they ideal for separating your templates into categories, but they're a powerful way to manage user permissions for a group of templates at once. To open a folder, just click its name in your dashboard. The breadcrumb you followed is displayed at the top of the dashboard. Note that if you open more than two layers of folders, that is, if you enter a folder, then a subfolder, then yet another subfolder, the breadcrumb will be collapsed into an icon with a drop-down menu. You can also click any folder in the breadcrumb to instantly navigate back to it. To create a folder, click the New button in the left of your dashboard, and then on New Folder. New folders will be created in the location you are currently viewing. For example, if you're viewing the home screen, you'll create a folder in the home directory. If you're inside an existing folder, you'll create a subfolder, and so on. Remember that only admins can create folders in the home directory, whilst members that have edit permissions to a specific folder will be able to create subfolders within that folder. You can edit the settings and user permissions of your folders by clicking the cog next to their name in your dashboard, and then selecting from the drop-down menu. You can move a folder by clicking on Move this folder, and you can delete it by clicking Delete this folder. Bear in mind that you can only delete folders which are empty. You can move templates out of folders by clicking the cog next to the template's name in your dashboard, clicking More, and then on Move this template. Then just select the folder you want to move it to. Meanwhile, Change Folder Settings will take you to the Folder Manager, where you can change its name or delete it entirely. The Add Members drop-down option will allow you to add or remove users and edit their permissions. You can also use Groups to make this even quicker. For example, you could edit a user's permissions to let them see a specific folder, but hide the rest of your organisation. To add a new user or group to a folder, type the first few letters of their email address, then choose who you want to add. Alternatively, you can adjust a user's permission level to one of three options using this drop-down. Can edit means that the user or group will be able to see and edit all templates and checklists within the folder. Can view will let the viewer view and interact with all checklists in the folder. And can view own limits the user to only seeing and interacting with checklists they are assigned to. To learn more about permissions or groups, you can visit our help site at process.st help. And to sign up for a free account with Process Street, visit process.st today.